Hey everybody, Dan the Wolfman here at CatchJitsu.com. Today I have an EDC CCW belt review for you, and that is on the foundation belt from the EDC belt company. It's available on ConcealedCarry.com, and this is a great review. Uh, this was designed by a cop of 16 plus years and off duty. He carries a heavy Beretta 92. So I thought I would throw my heavy Beretta 92 that you can see in my videos, stock, stock to not, uh, and also what uh, mods to make on a Beretta uh, 92A1. And uh, it's endorsed by Ernest Langdon. So there's reasons for that because if a belt works when you're carrying a 32, 33 ounce pistol plus a lot of ammo with a nice extended McGar magazine like I do, guys, if you watch my SHTF EDC video, you will understand I am not your typical carrier anyway and especially right now when I'm in a city that has rioting and craziness going on like crazy right now because of you know reasons so and unjust reasons and political reasons um so anyway guys what this belt is is a softer type of belt now this is the fourth carry belt that i have and that i've tested guys because i carry more than most people what do i carry well i got a rat's tourniquet under my thing look at my shtf edc i always carry at least one extra mag during crazy times like now, I carry two extra magazines. The extended magazine is going into whatever pistol I carry in, and I've tried this with different holsters, okay? Uh, if you look at my holster with the weapon-mounted light on the P320 with the O-Light, that with an extended magazine is how I've been rolling on my walks at nighttime, so I have my weapon-mounted light option if need be. Uh, I've also been throwing in my Warrior X Pro in the back pocket, even though I already have a light the baton, uh, a knife, uh, instead of a light backup gun carrying almost a full size backup gun, extra ammo for that. Yeah, because things are that crazy uh, right now in where I live. So what that means is the belt has to be friggin' good compared to most people's needs. And if it works for someone like me or Langdon or the guy who invented it with their heavy 92, and probably at least an extra mag and possibly backup guns and stuff. All the stuff I'm doing, it works. It's comfortable. So let me, uh, let me, as you see here, it's adjustable. So whether I put this on top or bottom, depending on how big my loops are, I can adjust it and make adjustments as need be. So if you're in a big heavy meal and that belly coming out, that's something that people really like. But more importantly, what it's about, guys is the amount of weight that it can carry comfortably. Now, I've got two pretty thick leather gun belts, and if I was just carrying one pistol with one magazine, like most people, but I carry a double stack with an extended magazine, an extra magazine, and always a backup gun, and a knife, and etc. and so forth, medical equipment. So, um, those don't cut it. And I've only found two belts that cut it. This is the second one. And this is a $45 to $50 belt that actually works. So it gets my endorsement at concealedcarry.com. Now the reason it works is kind of unlike a lot of the softer gun belts, it, it, it has five stitch webbing, but the hard material is only in certain areas, like where you would put your extra magazines, like where you would appendix or three o'clock outside waistband carry so this softer part is on the lower back so it's not uh compressing your sciatic nerve so if ernest langdon endorses it guys that's why i'm like yeah i want to test and evaluate it when i saw that um so if you go to concealedcarry.com you'll see all about this foundation belt from edc belt company i think i got that right EDC belt company, the foundation belt. Yeah, go to concealed carry, guys. Go to concealedcarry.com. You see it there. And uh, it really, really works. Considering the other belt I'm comparing it to is a $100 plus Hanks Steel Core belt 
that literally is not only the regular heavy leather, leather, thick leather, double thick leather, but with a steel core inside. This, I think, is a little more comfortable on my lower back, so I'm still evaluating. I've gone for long walks with it, and then I, I go halfway, I go walk, and then like a mile or whatever, and I sit down for a good while, talk to my buddy late at night, or you know, play on the phone, or listen to rock, or whatever, and then I walk back. So sitting and whatever, um, but it really, really works. Now, I've tried it out with different pistols. Right now, with everything going on, again, I'm not carrying with a standard length magazine in the gun, but a higher capacity, you know, because people are rolling around looking for trouble. Uh, like last night, you know, five people rolling in a car, four or five people rolling in a car. It looks like, you know, they're looking for trouble. There's, there's you know, multiples. So, um you got to play that in mind. Or like, you know, the two criminals with warrants on their arrest. One got away, one got arrested on my street. My 911 call video from last week. So, you know, reasons. Uh, but guys, it works. Uh, so it works with um, my Jam Claw Custom Kydex there with the heavy Beretta. It works with my 320 with an extended magazine. And um, my FDO Industries holster. Uh, I think it works with uh, quite a few of my other holsters. There's one holster that it hasn't worked great with. It has, uh, and that's a toaster holster. Um, with it's only because of that particular model, though. I think with that particular gun that I carry an extended magazine and a caliber that has heavier ammo. So unfortunately, uh, it shifted a little bit on me. So I want to make you aware of that you should always test out your holster with your belt because it did in riding in a car and out and walking around and stuff and because I don't have the standard length magazine or whatever it kind of shifted where if I needed it right away the grip wouldn't be where I wanted but overall guys and my other holsters and definitely the holsters with belt loops or with a maybe like a tighter clip it's not going to be an issue uh, but what's important about this guys this is a great belt for the money it's simplistic but not simplistic uh, it's got the scuba webbing only in the areas you need and I think that's what makes a difference about it So this one gets two thumbs up from the Wolfman guys go to concealed carry uh, com. check out the uh, Foundation belt by EDC belt company. Yes, they sent it to me But I'm always honest about my reviews as you see I told you about one holster just and, and weapon combination Just because that combination with the magazine I'm carrying right now it just didn't, doesn't work for that one, but it works great on my other ones. And usually I'm wearing this now when I go for my walks late at night uh, with the 320 setup you've seen with a light and extended magazine. I got all these magazines. I got a backup gun and everything. And if, if uh, you know, a non-steel belt can do that, that is really, really impressive. And if Langdon endorses it and the cop endorses it and they both carry 92s and I can carry my 92 or whatever heavier guns, this is the bell for you. I rambled on, guys. If you're going to carry a deadly weapon, hit that in the corner. The subscription, not only, but check out my three-minute highlight video for Batters and Street Jiu-Jitsu on BJJ Fanatics. Learn how to fight, and that way you can control your deadly weapon and have other options, perhaps, and weapon retention. And anyway, guys, please thumbs up, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and go check it out. And tell them the Wolfman sent you, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Stay safe, everybody.